Good afternoon, respected ma'am, teachers, and all my dear friends. Myself, Pada Shrastav. I study class 4C. I have made my landmark project on platforms. For making this project, I have used cardboard, cartridge, drawing sheet, some salt, some crushed tissue paper, foam, sponge, green and dark green, craft powder. For making mountains, I have used fresh tissue paper and made it in the form of mountain. Then I colored all over it. For making plateaus, I used foam and give it the shape of plateaus and give it the color of yellow, light yellow, orange, and red. For making plains and forest, I have used green and dark green craft powder, some stones. For making deserts, I have used paper and give it the color of sand. Mountains are the landforms that rise sharply above the surrounding areas. Any mountain that has pointed tops are called peaks. For example, Kanchenjunga mountain and Aravli mountain. Plains. Plains are the landforms that are low-lying flatlands. Plains mostly occur at the bottom of the valleys. Plateaus. Plateaus are landforms that is elevated from its surrounding areas. It is higher than plains but not as high as mountains. Deserts. Areas that are very dry and receive very less plants, animals and humans are called deserts. The Thar Desert in India and the Sahara Desert in Africa are some examples of hot deserts. I have also shown water bodies such as rivers, oceans, lakes. I have also shown some forest. Thanks to my teachers and school for giving me opportunity for making this and also thanks to my parents to help me in creating this. Hello everyone, myself Parushi. Today I am going to show one of honey. Now I have taken one glass of warm water and one bowl of lemon juice. Now I will put the lemon juice with one teaspoon of honey. Now keep stirring it. this drink and empty stomach every day. It will help to reduce weight at home. Thank you. Hope you like this drink and try at home. Thank you. A very good afternoon respected ma'ams, teachers and all my dear friends. I am Arya Parag Joshi from Class 4C. So in today's video, I am here to show you home remedies for hair growth. So let's start. The ingredients we require is almond oil, aloe vera, onion, uh, onion juice, vitamin E capsules, and some uh, real aloe vera gel, one bowl, and, uh, and cotton. So let's start. Use this bowl and put some aloe vera gel in it. vitamin E capsule I have already put in more in it. Now mix it. After mixing it use the onion juice and you need to put the serum in this. Mix it well. After mixing it, put one spoon of uh, almond oil. You can 
can put this serum by according your hair size. I have used to make this onion juice with the help of onion. Now our serum is all ready. You need to just mix it very well. After the serum is ready, use the help of the uh, cotton and apply it in your hair. For example, I will give the juice in this and I am applying in my hair. Then I need to keep it for at least 35 to 45 minutes. And after keeping it, you need to wash with your regular shampoo. I hope you will try this serum at home and you will find the result. This is home remedies for hair growth and hair fall. You will get both result in this. You need to continue putting for uh, one month, in one week, two times. Thank you. Bye. Good afternoon, ma'am, teachers, and my dear friends. I am Ashwika and I study in class 4C. My project topic is step farming. I have used cardboard, card paper, some decorative materials, artificial grass, and some hot glue. I have used brown paper and some cardboard to make the terraces, terraces portion of the of the farm. I have used artificial grass to show the crops. I have used I have used decorative materials to make the small grass pointing out of the ground. I have used hot glue to make hot glue and paint to make the river. I have used some uh, decorative flowers outside the river. I have used cardboard to make the house and the cow. In the hilly regions this is a common farming type. We make this to we make this because of the soil explosions the, and the slope of the water is a barrier to the crops and also slows down the process of the rainwater, rainwater presenting to hurt the crops. We cut down some steps in the mountain and then farm. This is called step farming or terraces farming. Thank you. Hello everyone. Here is Avni going to prepare immunity booster kadha. Let's have a glance over the ingredients. We need a glass of water, a pinch of turmeric powder, pinch of pepper, black pepper powder, garlic, piece of ginger and lemon. As you can see the water is boiling here and we will uh, add the ingredients. As you can see, I have already added some of the ingredients. Now we are going to add the pinch of turmeric. And then we add pinch of black pepper powder. And bring it to boil. Now we are going to add the pinch of turmeric. And then we add pinch of black pepper powder and bring it to boil. As the kadha is cooled now, we are going to add 1 tablespoon of lemon juice and going to mix it. Show you a medicine for cough and cold. 
it affects very nicely and i have also tasted it and um, it is really nice for our cough and cold so to make the medicine we will need some black pepper powder you we will need roasted cloves we, we have to roast it on the pan for 2 or 3 minutes and then we we will use the roasted cloves and just crush it into this powder like this we will we also will need some ginger juice and honey so let's start you will take half so you will also need this size spoon and you will use half a teas half a spoon of pepper powder then we are going to use the roasted the roasted clove powder we are going to also take half a spoon of that yes and we will also take half a spoon of ginger ginger juice and for the ginger juice if you have removed it just from the fridge you have to add some water before you squeeze it and you have to crush it also crush it and then you have to squeeze it then we are also going to add a full spoon of honey so and then we will mix it and if you want uh, if you can also make it little bit warm on the stove so that and it uh, affects more nicely and so uh, we should not have it like when we have lot of cough when we feel like ha when we feel like we have got the cough we should directly make this and it helps really nicely we should take it three times a day one in the morning one in the afternoon and one in the night so this was my home remedy for medicine hope you all will try this at home today my topic is organic farming organic farming is agriculture system it was started in 20th century without use of artificial chemical organic farming refers to production agriculture production system reliant on green manner compost Biological pest control and crop rotation to produce crops. Organic farming legally enrolled by many nations. We can also grow grains, wheat, vegetables, flowers, and animal products such as milk, egg, and meat. So here in my organic farming, I have. Bitter ground. Bitter ground helps in controlling diabetes and has lot of vitamins. Next, I have ajwain leaves. Ajwain leaves helps in improve your digestive system and it can also be used as mouth spray. Next, I have china grass. China grass is also called as China plant. It can also grow 8 feet tall. Next I have green gram. Green gram has highest number of protein. Thank you. Hello everyone. Myself Pahen Noor. I am from grade 4C. And today I have made and game in JavaScript with the help of code.org studio. So this is an interesting game called Flappy Bird. In this game there is a bird called Flappy and she needs to cross the obstacle and if she hits the obstacle the game would be over and if she crosses the obstacle her score would be increased by 1. So let's see the code. So here I have to Set speed normal and set gravity normal. Set a random gap between the obstacle. Set ground random. Set player random and set screen random. That means whenever we click on run, the background, the flappy bird would be random. So here I have to 
when click flap a small amount so whenever we we'll click click the flappy bird will flap in a small amount so when hit the ground play wing sound when flappy bird hits the obstacle play crunch sound and the game would be over when passes obstacle play point sound score a point so let's so let's run the game oh the game is over let's run again so here's my score as plus 1 to increase your concentration and your hand eye coordination hope you enjoy the game thank you everyone my name is siddhi guttel and my project for nirman science exhibition is step farming this is the model which i have made to explain you all what is step farming step farming is also called as terrace farm the farmers the farmers cut the mountains into wide steps and cultivate crops This type of farming is called as step farming. Terrace farming was invented by the Inca people who lived in South America mountain. Step farming is common on hills and mountains. The mountain is cut into wide steps uh, which is used to cultivate crops. In India in India the step farming is practiced mostly practiced in the states of Punjab, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh. The major benefits of step farming is that it helps in soil conservation and water conservation. The modern farmers are again coming back to step farming. They grow a variety of crops like tea, rice and coffee. Thank you. Exhibition 2020. My name is Tanvi Patnayak. I am from Class 4C. I study in Anandalna High School. I prepared a model on organic farming by using mount board, thermocol sheets, door mat, glue, paint, and animals. I prepared a cow shed, and here are some of the domestic animals. Here is cow manure and compost which are used as fertilizers and are mixed with the soil. Here is a man plowing a field and here is a scarecrow. Here are two crop fields and here are some of the marigold flowers which act as pesticides. Here is a biogas plant. This is a well. Through this way the water goes to the fields. Thank you.
are used as fertilizers instead of chemicals. These fertilizers enhance soil fertility for the better yield. Various natural materials are used as pest control like cow urine, neem leaves, chili powder, garlic paste and marigold flowers. These work as pest repellent. The main difference between organic and conventional farming is that organic farming depends on natural sources to produce healthy and nutritious crops, fruits and vegetables. Conventional farming depends on chemicals and pesticides for growing crops. Organic foods are expensive but do not make humans sick. Hence, it is always good to use organic products to keep ourselves healthy. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Vedika Agarwal from Great Food C and today I am here to explain my Nirman exhibition project. My topic is day and night. The part of the earth which faces sunlight is experiencing daytime such as this is the sun, this is the earth. The part in the earth which is facing daytime is India, China, Australia, Indonesia etc. The part of the earth which is not facing the sunlight and remains dark is experiencing night such as in this globe south america mexico canada etc thank you my name is arab shah i am studying from fourth cn in Lalmya high school today i am here to show you how to do step farming this is the soil and this is the plant this is the fence and this i have made the three steps this type of farming method used to step which is which is side of a hill or a mountain. See, I have made these steps. The different types of plants we are planting. Now my step farming is ready. Hello friends, I am Aaron Jerome from 4th C. Today I will be talking about mango farming and even show you how to plant a mango tree. First, I will give you some facts about mango trees. As you can see, these beautiful planted mango trees around me has been planted over 100 years ago. Now I will give you some facts. Mango planting is the lead crop farming of India. Mangoes are considered to be the fruits of the king of fruits. Mangoes are high in vitamin C and vitamin A. Did you know that the top varieties of exports are Alfonso and the Sherry. They go to countries like USA, Europe and Middle East countries. You can see here is a mango tree, a mango sapling here and mango sapling all around me. The mango sapling has a ring around it in which the ring has fertilizer, fully decomposed manure to help the mango tree grow. Now I am going to plant the mango seed. 
As you can see, it is a very big seed to plant. I will pour water into the mango, into where the mango seed is planted. Hello friends, as you can see there are lots of old mango trees behind me. Now we will talk about the best seasons for mango tree planting. First season is Feb to March in irrigated places. The next season is July to August in rain fed areas. I hope this information about mango farming helped you guys. Thank you and have a great day. I am Abhi Vijayamal, you are studying in class 4C. Today I, I am get a great pleasure to represent my topic of Nirma. Today I am going to present with some natural ingredients which are available in our house. I would like to... This is a mixture. This, this mixture is dividend into parts, body scrub and body pack. First, let's start with body scrub. Body scrub. One, tab one tablespoon sugar, one tablespoon coffee powder and one tablespoon honey. Mix, mix with Mix it well and apply and rub it. Now we come on to the second part of the body pack. 1 tablespoon of wheat flour, 1 tablespoon gram flour, 1 tablespoon red lattice, pinch of turmeric, raw milk. Mix it well. Mix all the ingredients properly and apply it in the whole body. Wait for 15 minutes. Watch it. You, you will get an amazing result. Thank you everyone for your well. Hello everyone, my name is Advit Mishram and my topic's name is the solar system. Please look at my uh, project mo model. Uh, this, uh, the, the, the solar system is made up of the sun and other eight planets which are called Mercury, Venus, Venus, Earth, Mars, uh, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. The sun is a star. The sun is a star and it is um, and it uh, the sun is a star and it is also forms the center of the solar system. The, the sun also gives light and energy to the earth for life. Respected ma'ams, teachers and all my dear friends. My name is Arnav Jain and I am here to show my active model of volcano. Do you know what is a volcano? A volcano is a rupture in the crust of the earth that allows hot lava, ashes and gases to escape from magma chamber below the surface. Do you know how volcanoes occur? Volcanoes occur because it's Crust is broken into tectonic plates that float in outer and softer layer of its mantle. Therefore, the volcanoes occur when tectonic plates are diverging or converging mainly underwater. Some volcanoes are active and some are dormant. Mount Fiji in Japan and Mayon in Philippines are some examples of volcanoes. Thank you. Friends, now I will show you how volcano erupts. Now look the look hot lava is coming out. Thank you.
to make the volcano erupt, I used baking soda, vinegar, eno, red color, and liquid soap. Hope you enjoyed my project. Bye. Thank you. Hello, ma'am, teachers, and all my dear friends. My name is Anushka Sadgiri and today I am going to tell you about hydroponic farming. Hydroponic is a type of horticulture. There are different types of methods to do hydroponic farming. There are different nutrients of hydroponic farming. They are fish excrement, duck manure and purchased chemical fertilizers. In this farming, less water is used and more space is saved and this is my hydroponic farming there are two layers in my hydroponic farming this is the first layer and this is the second layer in the first layer the plants grow and in the second layer the water goes through the pipe to the sec to the first layer and there is an outlet here from there is an outlet here from which from which the water come back to the second layer in this flowing water plants get nutrients we need to take care very much of this hydroponic farming in india hydroponic farming is used in a la large scale Thank you. Have a nice day. Good afternoon, everyone. Myself, I'm Nishna from Booth, and today my Nirman exhibition topic name is Medical Home Remedies. So, begin with gastric problems. Begin with gastric problems. Gastric is a disease which is faced by everyone in the world. It is due to the undigestion of the food. So I have brought your two remedies for it. Now we need some chopping seeds and some pumpkin seeds. After this, we have to take and roast it in a pan till it get crispy. When it get crispy, let it be to cool. When it get cool, take it, take a grinder and grind it properly in a fine powder. Take the powder, put it in a warm loop water, drink it every day before before going to the bed and before before brushing in the morning. Now let's start with arthritis. This is a disease which is found in all the serious diseases in the world. Arthritis is also known as a joint seizure joint pain. to get natural vitamin go every day in the go out every day and sit in the sunlight in the early in the morning this help you to get vitamin d now i'll tell you the basic home remedy for arthritis first we have to take turmeric and honey turmeric and honey after that we need a hot warm blue water which we have to put the turmeric and honey in it then we have to drink it every day in the early in the morning and before going to the bed hope you like my basic home remedy thank you stay home stay safe hello everybody my name is akshar singh and i study in another mia high school 4c and my topic for this nirman exhibition is landforms landforms are features of the earth surface that are part of the terrain mountains hills plateaus and plains are the four major landforms minor landforms include buttes canyons and valleys now i'm going to show you some landforms that are included in my project this is a mountain this is a hill this is a river this is a lake this is a plateau this is a plain this is a desert this is an island and this is an ocean now you may ask me how are these formed tectonic plate movement under the earth can create landforms by pushing up mountains and hills 
erosion by water and wind can wear down land and can create landforms like uh, valleys and valleys and canyon these processes take a long period of time sometimes millions of years as we know plains are the largest landforms in the world because they are flat they are flat uh, uh, landmass uh, flat landmasses that generally does not change much in elevation now you may ask me why are these so important these are so important because they connect people through tourism spiritual value uh, historical meaning and they provide a, an identity for the people and the place thank you for uh, looking at my project with me thank you and stay st stay safe bye Good afternoon everyone, I am Daksh Pardhe. I am here to show you how to make a medicinal kada for cough. So let's start. A medicinal kada is a Ayurvedic drink. A kada is prepared, prepared by adding tulsi, black pepper, by in the boiling water. We have to boil the water until the water reduces in half. This home remedy is to is to make you stronger and fight by seasonal infections thank you Are you ready? Kara for cup is ready. Okay, thank you. Good afternoon, teacher, and all my friends. I am Partha Balia from Class 4C. And today my topic is major land forms. These both are the mountains, and this is the snow. The mountains are the main land forms. Which have, which rise sharply above the surrounding areas and have peaks. Peaks are the top of the mountain which have snow commonly or rarely. This is the river which is made from the melting of the snow. These both are the hills and this is a desert. A desert is a landform which has very less living things such as animals, humans and plants. Some examples of deserts are the Thar Desert in India and the Sahara Desert in Africa. And these both are the plateaus. Plateaus are the landforms which, which are elevated from every side and has a flat top. And because it has a flat top, it is also called a table land. Some examples of plateaus are the Deccan Plateau and the Chopanakpur Plateau. And this is a plain. A plain is a landform which is the low lying flat, flat lands. Some examples of plains are the Ganga plain. And this is the river. And these are the boats sailing in it. And these are the stones. This is an island. This is a pond. And this is a house. And this is a tree and these both are the stones. Usually in the desert, the day at the day it is usually very hot and at the night it is very cold. The examples of mountains are the Kanchanjunga and Nanda Devi in India. And this is a temple and it has a flag on it in which we do puja.
Yeah. And the last thing that the this is a river, and these are the stones which I have used as the boundaries of the river. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Rajit Patel. I am from class 4C and I am in high school. My name and exhibition project is the solar system. I have made the solar system using plastic balls, paper, paint and tissue paper. This project will take you to the journey of the solar system. Solar system includes the sun, the mercury, all the other planets, stars, comets, asteroids which move around the sun. The sun is just one of the hundreds and billions of stars in our galaxy in which we live in. It's called the Milky Way. There are eight planets in our solar system. The Mercury is the nearest to the sun and the Neptune is the farthest to the sun. Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system. By being the smallest planet in our solar system, Mercury's temperature source is extremely high. Venus. Venus is also called as the hottest planet. It is also the brightest planet in our solar system. Earth. Earth is only the planet which has creatures living on it. Its two-thirds surface is covered with water. Mars. Mars is often called as a red planet. Jupiter. Jupiter is called our largest planet in our solar system. Jupiter has 79 active satellites. Saturn. Saturn is also known for its ring system. Its rings are made up of rock, ice and rocks. Uranus. Presence of methane gas in the atmosphere. Uranus gives a blue tint. Neptune. Neptune is the last planet in our solar system. And it is also the coldest planet in our solar system. It is around the same size as Uranus. Now, we study through this project that we learn about all the planets, why, and we also learn about why though. Day and night occur and why environment is changing. Thank you and have a good day. My name is Tanya Dora. Hope you all are safe and healthy at home. My topic for the Nirman exhibition is weight loss water. As we all are at home due to this unfortunate pandemic and not able to move. Move. We all have gained weight over the period. So today I am preparing a water which will help us from many many health issues apart from the weight loss. This water will help us in, in reducing weight from weight from at least five to six kgs. Best part is this water can be taken by any patients like thyroid, high BP, diabetes, etc. and will not have any side effects as it is made from natural ingredients. Now I will show how to make this healthy water. We will need following things. 1 liter water, 2 to 3 bay leaves, 2 to 3 bay leaves, commonly called as sage patta. 
one state cinema commonly called as Dal Dalchini. garbage crisis is worsening while time is flowing. To lessen its effects, at least on an empirical scale, we have come up with the project Jostaju. Step 1. Collect plastic bottles. Step 2. Collect compressible plastic such as shopping bags, wrappers, etc. Step 3. Using a stick, push the plastics into the bottle until it fills to the brim. Step 4. Use these eco bricks to construct walls, tools, tables, and much more. It's as simple as ABC, and it's our way of repaying the debt we owe to Mother Earth. See how we can recycle and conserve plastic without having to harm the environment. Let's understand these steps again. To create the eco brick, you just need a plastic bottle and a rod. Collect plastic and push inside in the bottle. If once the bottle is filled, take the rod and push it inside then to create more space. Then put more plastic. If the bottle is hard, your eco bit is ready. I am trying to explain that we should not throw plastic on roads and collect them like this. Simple steps and then we can uh, reduce pollution and keep our mother earth clean and green. Hello, respect. 
good math teachers and all my dear friends. My name is Ayana Kapoor from 4C. Welcome to Nirman Exhibition 2020. My topic is step farming, which is also known as terrace farming. I will share, today I will share some useful information. Before I get into details, I will tell you how did I make the project. I use mangoes, thermocol, origami paper, newspaper and colors. What is step farming? Step of terrace farming is a method of farming where steps known as terrace are built on the slopes of hills and mountains. When it rains, instead of rain carrying away the soil nutrients and plants down the slope, they flow to the next step. On each level, various crops are planted. A step is about 2 to 3 meters wide and 50 to 80 meters long. Types of crops that grow are barley, wheat, potato, corn, tea and coffee. Step farming is ideal to grow rice. Do you know where in the step farming is practiced? Step farming is practiced mainly in hilly areas. In India, it takes place in the state of Punjab, Meghalaya, Haryana, plains of Uttar Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh. Advantages of step farming First, the conservation of soil and water which reduces soil erosion. However, it needs a lot of labor which is a disadvantage. Is the farming studious today? Yes, today a lot of farmers are practicing this old method as it is practical and productive to grow more food with less water. Hope I am able to enlighten you with the useful information on step farming. Standard Division C. In this Nirman exhibition, my topic is home remedy for skin. Organic home remedies are the best ways to maintain beautiful, healthy skin. We should take cues from our mother and grandmother and start including home remedies into our skincare routine. Of course, there are many commercial products in, available in the market and do a fabulous job with our skin. So let's start with the home remedy. First I will take basin powder 1 teaspoon, aloe vera gel 1 teaspoon, orange powder 1 teaspoon, Turmeric powder 1 teaspoon, neem powder 1 teaspoon, chandan powder 1 teaspoon, honey 1 teaspoon, cream 1 teaspoon, Lemon, 2 drops. Rose water, 2 teaspoon. Now let's make this. I'll give you more information about this paste is required for our for People that have dark skin, dark spots and pimple. 
So now let's try this in my hand. I'll keep this for, I will rub this for 30 seconds. Now let's let it dry for 5 minutes. Now I have kept this for 5 minutes. Now I'm going to wipe this with the tissue. tissue. Yeah. Now I will take this wet cloth. Now see the difference in my hand. This is the hand which I use this paste applied here and this is not the hand that I did. So this is brighter than this hand. If you like this video, please try it. And thank you and have a nice day. I am Kanak, student of 4th C and I am presenting my model of air pollution and solution. Let's have a look what is air pollution. It is a mixture of oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, dust particles, water vapor and several harmful gases. Here is a term which is divided into two parts, pollution and solution. In pollution town, we can observe that there is garbage burning, cutting trees, smoke from factories using private vehicles and the extra oil from the factories and houses are passing to a small pump, pond which is used by the people. People wear, people wear masks due to polluted air. Factories are at the same place where houses are. Let's have a look what is going in Solution Town. Here there is plantation factories far away from the town using electric, carpooling or public transport. And even the pond is clean which is used by the people. And garbage is going in the garbage bin. Breathing polluted, polluted air is harmful for our lungs. It causes diseases such as asthma. So we should keep the air clean.